भारत का मुख्य आदर्श त्याग और सेवा है ये बात हमें बताई थी स्वामी विवेकानंद ने सेवा के क्रम को जारी रखते हुए भारतीय अमेरिकी संगठन कई स्थानों पर मुख्य धारा में सेवा के साथ जुड़े हुए हैं इसी दिशा में हंटिंगटन में श्रीमद राजचंद्र लव एंड केयर की तरफ से फ्रंटलाइन हेल्थ वर्कर को सम्मान व्यक्त कर उनके प्रति अपना सम्मान व्यक्त करने के लिए और उनका उत्साह बढ़ाने के लिए एक मोटरकेड के साथ साथ उन तक कुछ विशेष सामग्री पहुंचाने का जो कार्यक्रम किया गया उसकी ये खास रिपोर्ट आपके लिए पेश है Shrimad Rajchandar Loving Care is inspired by Shrimad Rajchandar ji who was the spiritual guide of Mahatma Gandhi. And you know one of the main tenets that we learn is to make sure that we do everything based on compassion. One of our mission statements is to realize one's true self and serve others selflessly. So serving others selflessly is that compassion in action. And when we really see all of the different things that people are going through and what people are doing and how much they're doing to impact the community it is our responsibility to make sure we recognize the good work they're doing sahajat me roopi sevya guru ne vandana vidhiye karu sahajat me roopi sevya guru ne vandana vidhiye karu vandana vidhiye karu Inspired by Pooja Guru Dev Shri Rakesh Pai, Shri Madhav Chandra Lavan Care initiates a unique 360 degree program of support and extension, relief and aid, working for multiple causes at multiple levels in just 21 days. Using a global network of centers and volunteers across five continents. in numerous cities across india the united states of america canada united kingdom uae singapore australia and kenya and in the end i hope that this covid crisis becomes a reason for all of us to get unified all of us to get united and come together as one and become one community and not be divisions of a separate community so we really believe that the indian community is a critical part of that we really believe that shrimad rajendra's teachings have always taught us to really bring all of our groups together and we really want to make sure that that is something that we present in action and make that happen to bring all of us in one right now in the world there's so much negativity so many things that are going on and hopefully people can see some inspiration and positivity in all the beautiful work these frontline workers are doing and that will bring some positivity so that when we come out of this we all remember how to serve each other well oh it's it's there's never enough thanks but it's days like today and our friends in 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 the indian community that have come out and uh, to show their support you know this is not an event that just affects new york state it's a worldwide pandemic and 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 the good that comes out of something like this is we all come together to celebrate what's important people's lives to celebrate what's important those frontline workers that are in that building right there taking care of our loved ones they don't have the option to stay home and shelter in place they're out here every day taking care of the people we care most about so i want to thank you for coming out and and being part of the solution and helping so many people um know that people care out there for the work that they're doing day in and day out
So the basic concept, like Pujya Gurudev, she has always told us that it's um, just see grace in everything and show gratitude for everything. So even somebody who is taking, receiving something for you, just be thankful to them also because they are receiving. They are also accepting what you want to give them. So that was that actually touched so much like, you know, that it's really it's not just all about us being the main people giving something out, but somebody is taking something from us. So we are grateful for that also. And on top of that, he said that it's not you, it's the grace that's working, you know, so that way also he's teaching us that it's everything. It's just grace. Said, we really, really, really thank you to Param Kupalu Dev and Pujya Gurudev to give us, uh, giving us this wonderful opportunity to serve the community, you know, and especially in this uh, COVID-19 situation. We have about 90 to 100 uh, the volunteers working, you know, in the Long Island. And we've been doing these motorcade from last couple of weeks. We went to the Huntington Hospital last week with appreciating all the healthcare workers. And we had about 20, 25 cars were there as, as well. And we, we, when we started, we didn't know we're gonna, we wanted to continue like this, but every, with everyone's support, we all said, let's continue and let's go in the community and help the, appreciate the community who was working with this COVID situation. I'm Councilman Mark Cuthbertson. I'm a councilman with the town of Huntington, where this nursing home is located. Here with a great community group today to thank all our healthcare workers for all that they do and, and knowing that they put themselves at risk and uh, do it willingly and have been doing it now for months. And there's been such, um, so many sad times here that we want to brighten up their lives and make sure that they know that we may not be here every day but we're thinking of them and we know that they're doing God's work for us. So this uh, type of gesture collectively expressed by our community members uh, means a lot uh, overall. How do you feel uh, being here uh, from both sides? You know it's it's truly a privilege and a pleasure because being a physician, you know, I've, I've witnessed and I've experienced the tremendous um, emotional and physical um, toll that this COVID crisis has taken on everyone, especially the front care, uh, frontline workers and, um, you know, who are risking their lives. And so um, Sri Madhraj and the Love and Care uh, is doing amazing effort in showing that you know we can do community support we can provide we can raise people's spirits we can uh, provide them with hope we can provide them with uh, help we can provide them in various ways and various through various initiatives to show hi my name is Shraddha and I'm in fourth grade and I love this it's like the best um, so thank you all doctors nurses frontliners and everyone. I see in this group a lot of kids have also participated. I think that is very important. They see, they learn and they imbibe some of these values. So, you know, our founder, um, Pujya Gurudev Shri Rakesh Bhai, his philosophy and his love and his compassion and his ability to connect to every age group, this is proof of that because he connects with the heart, he connects at their level, he makes them understand what they understand, which is that they, they just want to, uh, you know, they just, they have a very logic oriented mind and he explains it to their level so that they feel like they also can be part of this beautiful spiritual um, uh, association and organization and the fact that they're here and they're actually more excited to come here and, and, and be part of these things because of the fact that they feel so connected and they feel like they can understand and appreciate everything that this organization is offering to them. But to make this happen, uh, talk to me, who would you like to personally feel grateful from your team members? Well, I, definitely the first is that, you know, uh, our beloved Srimad Rachandraji and our beloved Puja Gurudev Shri, because they give us the energy, the force, and the drive to know which direction to go, and they give us the power to go there. So that energy, drive, and direction is all coming from him only. But really, every single person here has given their hard work, their heart, their love, 
and their soul to making sure that every moment that they can, they give their efforts into the mission. And it could not be done without all of and them. Indeed, it strengthens them to work even with more zeal and commitment and what hardship everybody is going uh, through especially at nursing homes and hospitals is not hidden from any anybody so i think this was a very very noble gesture uh, of sri raj chandra love and care and i want with you to offer my pranams at the feet of rakesh ji uh, your guru ji maharaj who inspired and uh, it it takes uh, a lot of multi layered understanding on the part of all uh, the people that are here i see that and it it is enriching on many levels for me to be a part and a, uh, to be a witness here we really appreciate you coming here and i can also say that you know from this level but mr sudirbhai has also been a great inspiration he is a different generation than many of us are and he has already trailed a path to social service philanthropy supporting the community and because padmashri sudhir ji has done that you know he has also taught the indian community to do these things so certainly we have our spiritual inspiration in uh, puja gurudev shri in uh, in uh, shrimad rajendra ji but there is also trailblazers in the indian community that have done that as well that have made the path easier for us uh, i i appreciate once again and i thank uh, my camera uh, man friend krupa ji for joining us so, thank you thank you krupa ji thank you thank you thank you and and can i just say that krupa ji ultimately although you're the cameraman behind the scenes the the cause of everything is krupa and we've experienced <laughs> it so though you're back there you are the main force you're representing the krupa that all of us have felt today so thank you so much thank you thank you <laughs> I know, I know. This is a divine plan. Yes. Then his name is Krupaji because that's all we've experienced here is 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 you know our Guru's grace. That's yes. it. That's all. So Ash Ashok can exist only because of Krupa. Without without Ashok, <laughs> <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.